Why, hello there, Ollie Fonts and Turtles alike. Turtles alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic. From Pen and Blade. Pen and Blade. And this is this is very uh, forebo- foreboding of the episode to come. I'm gonna just gonna draw this back because I need to um, draw this back and make this video if I'm going to. Um, Go on to the next part of my self-administered figure drawing class, which is going to be drawing standing poses and then sitting poses and then action poses. And hopefully I'll feel a lot more confident in my figure drawing. So I got to draw this back, even though I'm not feeling, you know, a million percent confident. There's so much to learn with all sections of figure drawing. But um, yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm going to we're going to start with the structure, of course. And same as in the last video, the main measurement, I'm going to have to move this guy because I don't think I have, or I might have enough room. The main measurement I want to keep in mind, and I should do it with the legs closed to match our reference, so that'll be better, I think, is um, from here to the top of the head. So let's put this skull, it's going to be somewhere around here. That distance should be the same as the distance to the bottom of the foot. So let's make this a little smaller. All right, and see there's a gap between the legs. That's something that I always seem to forget or have trouble with. Um, there's a, sl a slight gap between the legs. So I just put in, and I have another video in this series. Uh, you can look for like figure drawing 101 playlist on my channel. And... Um, talking about the structure so I don't want to get into that too much because the video is going to be long enough as it is all right so let's just go with that for the structure um the main thing that I'm doing here is like it's like the the back of the skull is more circular actually this looks like it should be taller and thinner it's another issue I seem to have I like to make all right so how would I start? I think the main landmark that I like to use is this right here, which is there's a scapula under here. And one thing I should point out that I think the screen knee, OK Little Cutie or something was talking about how these figures look really flat and stuff like that. And I'm not using like I didn't use gesture to, you know, give it some life and stuff. And that's very true. And I'm not I should clarify that, you know, I wouldn't suggest this is like the figure drawing method you should use but I feel like this is what I'm trying to do here is put together the body as like a puzzle piece so I know how everything fits together and then in the next stages I'm going to hopefully you know uh, imbue it with some life but so for now it is gonna look very kind of like cookie cutter and um, I hope that makes it easier to learn like how to do this so so this, the way that I do it is a little different than what's shown on this figure here. Um, I'm going to stick with it because I've seen it done in a couple places like this and uh, it seems to be easier. So the scapula is doing something like that, but we're talking about the, the line on top. From there, if you, you know, bring it down like that to the center line, so you got the center spine, and then you have it come up here and there might be a curve like that going into this curve like that. And I'm going to de-emphasize that. Then you've got the basic shape of the trapezius. And that's going to really like be helpful. That's a great landmark. I feel like it's the best landmark to start with. And then here, sometimes you, there's like a dip where you can see some, some spines. So you can indicate that. And then connecting down here is going to be that sternocleidomastoid that you can see a little bit you can see from the back and then you got the skull I mean you can represent it with this muscle you're seeing here but it doesn't really change the form so I don't know sometimes it seems to help me to get the form because uh, I'd like to get the skull the right size I'm not gonna worry about that right now this guy's not gonna be perfect for portion it's okay all right I'm gonna make this a little darker as we move on so from here uh, I like to put in the uh, shoulder and I would do it like this. I don't think that's the best way to do it. See what you're seeing here is pro is more correct. So, so that's one of the things, uh, one of the reasons I had reservations starting this. I'm like, well, what about this? And why does it do that? And I haven't figured all that out yet. But I really want to move on and figure out the details as I go along. So something like this for the shoulders would probably work. And see, so that's going to go 
uh, around the, you know, if there's, if you see the bicep, the, the arms turning out, it would go in between the bicep and the tricep. But, um, if the arms hanging down like this, you can't really see the bicep. So you're just going to have the tricep coming down. So let's put the arms. I don't know why I didn't put them in my outline. Just roughly have them hanging like that. And, um, the one thing about the triceps, so there's that this tendon in the middle goes all the way down to the elbow and then there's like a little it's not really shown here but I like to put a little thing there I don't know I saw it in figure drawing design and invention and then on the inside the tricep comes lower than on the outside and then I feel like you can just put some lines connect it whatever let's see again this is where I should go into some more detail and um, coming from back here, that bone connects into the pinky side. So, and there's like that little bump on the pinky side. So you can find where that is. So the hand here is, is turning down like, like that and the thumb is on, you know, on the far side. And then from there, we've got muscles coming in like this basically. That's going to complete out the, um, yeah, is that going to, no, 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 that's not, because I was just thinking that we know that from the front view one, that on the thumb side, there's the big guy, and that connects into the thumb, so probably more like that, and then now that I'm looking over at the reference, that's what I'm seeing, so I guess it's actually more like that. So let's do the other side, hopefully I'll do a little bit clearer. Okay. So we've got the, tri the tricep on the outside is higher and a little smaller than the one on the inside. And then we've got, let's see what they do here. I guess we could just indicate the elbow like that if we want to. A little circle. And let's have the hand like this. So that's going to come to the pinky side. Like that. How is that? Is that working? Yeah, I think that should work. And then... You know, the thumb has this one, and uh, I don't know. I'm a little confused. What if I just indicate that, and then we bring these wrapping around like that? Does that look reasonable? Put a little space between the fingers, just like in the leg. I'm trying to do that. It seems to be helping. I think it looks all right. Anyway, so technically these would be a little bit divided, you know, so depending on how muscular the person is, there might be, you can see the line over there. And, okay, so we went all the way down the arm. All right, that's fine. Probably got a little ahead of ourselves there, but that's cool. Let's just outline what we've got in our dark, darker color. All right. So the next big thing is the lats. So the lats, there's a little triangle at the top of where the butt starts, like that. You can, I like to think of it like that. You can't see as much here, but it's okay. I think it's a helpful landmark. From there, you come up to pretty much like it's attaching into the arm, basically, but at the like near the top of the arm. And then, see, it's like the form is curving like that, so it curves that, that way around the form. And then there's some fancy muscles right in here. You can see them in there. You can indicate them if you want. But for laying things out, I'm just going to leave it alone at this point because that's going to require a little more in-depth study. And uh, I didn't want to get too deep into the details like I was saying before. So here, you, you can indicate, you know, there's going to be a, like a rounded form or something like that, basically. You know, with this kind of shape coming over, thinking about that. And the obliques are going to attach into that. And your upper body's pretty much done. Yay! Now, for the glutes, you come down here. I feel like the proportions are really bad on this. Right? Yeah. It should be, like, way further down. Anyways, the proportions aren't going to be very good. Sorry, guys. Just putting the puzzle piece together. This was actually the philosophy of Fantastic Anatomy. Um, is just to like be like, all right, don't worry about proportion. Just figure out how everything fits together and flows together. And then the proportions, you know, you kind of get better and better at that naturally. But uh, 
I don't know. I could probably spend some time studying it too. I mean, I have. Anyways, all right, back on subject. So, you know, you're going down, you got the, the butt, butt crack, all right? What is it doing now? It's going to wrap around and see, connect to the outside thingy. And the outside thingy has a notch right around here. The This, like, lig, big ligament on the side. And I think it corresponds to the to the bone of the pelvis. So the, the leg goes something like that, right? So yeah, that bone. This is the pelvic bone. All right. So whatever, I'll just leave it there. Um. So that's that. I guess this was from front view. This from back. Whatever. Uh, okay. Cool. So the so there's 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 a couple things. So that diamond method that I mentioned before in the other video it works on the back too. Isn't that amazing? And so that's gonna you know see bisect the hamstring hamstring muscle comes down there and then you might see a little bit of the um how oh, i should have looked it up if it, i think it's abduct abductor because it's bringing it, no adductor adductor whatever one of those it's the one on the inside this one gonna come around like that Let's see what's up with this little tiny leg this little tiny leg the proportions are all wrong okay what is this tiny tiny leg all right. All right. Whatever. I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right. Shh, shh, shh. Relax. Shh. I'm just chill. Cool. I'm moving along. Moving right along. So that's it. So that's basically the the upper the upper leg. And um, as you can see here, if you want to like make this more realistic, this is gonna curve around. And like kind of ugh, I don't know. I don't know the details there. So let's just move along. Moving along, I told you this video isn't going to be quite uh, quite where I'd like it to be. All right. All right, cool. So the last thing is you got the, you put a V there. It's a little extreme. But basically, you've got the calf muscles. And those are actually going, you see, they're like plugging into underneath the hamstrings. So that's a little something to keep in mind. Coming out of there, is that going to be that bone? Coming out of the bottom. And um, going down into the heel. And then from there, you see from in front, you've got the foot. I just have them both kind of slightly turned out like that. But I won't go into that either. But yeah, I think that basically covers it. I mean, oh yeah, and there's, sorry, there's another muscle around here on the sides just to kind of smooth it out. But they're not too pronounced, it seems, from the back. All right, so that's it. So we've gone ahead and drawn the back. Um, oh, one last thing. Oops, all right, coming back to the lats. So the lats, this part's more fleshy, and this part is like uh, ligamenty or tendony, tendony, I think. Um, but there's the erector spinae that goes all the way down the back, like two cords. And then you know you got your back, whatever. All right. So down here they're the most noticeable. So that's where you'll be most likely to get like something like that, kind of poking through that thin area of the lats where it connects into the upper pelvis all right i think that was it sorry it's a little less organized or whatever than usual but i hope it was helpful and i'm excited to start drawing some figures all right uh until next time you guys peace god bless and stay fantastic everyone